Let's dive into the cold ones iceberg. For a show to have this many obscure jokes and memes, it may be hard for new or even regular viewers to understand everything. This iceberg on the Cold Ones Reddit explains trivia from stuff a common viewer would know, all the way to stuff even diehard fans might not even know about. So without further ado, let's dive in. Prezzo is a live streamer and editor of the Cold Ones podcast. Yeah. Prezzo, put the Hammer Bros on screen. Yo, whoop, whoop. Yo, All right. Good work. Hey, Prezzo, put the Wiggler from Mario walking past the front. Too Mad, Griffin, Trevor, and Ryan are also known to edit podcast episodes as well. Prezzo, play the Windows 98 era sound. Mm. Scott is an intern for Cold Ones who runs Cool Shirts with a Z. I've you say shirts with a Z dot cool. Shirts with a Z dot cool. Buy the shirts from that side clothing brand they promote on most of their videos that runs in association with Cold Ones. He is also in charge with uh, their joke merchandise like Cucumber Joe and uh, Chinese truckers. Oh, that is fucking awesome! That is really good. That is good. Patreon refers to their Patreon, where a lot of extended podcast episodes and not safe for YouTube content can be found, including videos like uh, David Hasselhoff and more explicit videos of Chad. Though I cannot afford it because I am kind of broke. Sorry guys. Cameo and Fiverr often appear in their videos. I'm such a fucking cripple. He would do it, he would say anything for money, he'd sell out his own kind. They spend insane amounts of money to hire people on these websites to say and do stuff people might not normally want to say or do. Should we end the video with Gilbert Godfrey saying I have snake aids? The goal of this is basically just to get them to say the most craziest stuff. Shitting and coming, <laughs> I am the cum lord. Marky Plyer <laughs> is a better let's player. Cool shirts and gamer subs are sponsors of Cold Ones. Gilbert Gottfried is a famous voice actor from shows like Fairly Old Parents and Cyber Chase. He's known for having a really funny voice, so Max and Chad often try and get him to say really insane stuff on the website Cameo. Hi, it's me, Draco Malfoy. <laughs> I just got done with that bitch moaning Myrtle in the Hufflepuff bathroom. <laughs> I'm so glad he cancelled. <laughs> He has since passed away, and there have been countless comments and posts mourning his passing. But holy hell, is it erotic? I have ogre aids, aids, snades, super aids, presidential aids, and other variations seem to originate from them seeing if they can get celebrities to say they have aids on Cameo. My plan is to dark slide down. A couple of skater aids with my mates Max and Chad. I have mega hyper death aids. This is my final video. And what's up, dog? I have aids. <laughs> Only a spoonful is from a vine called Comically Large Spoon. Hey, dog, you get some ice cream? Only a spoonful. Max and Chad have their own huge spoon as well to make their own similar jokes. I'm gonna do a spoonful of cinnamon. Just a spoonful. It can often be seen in the background of their videos. Joji Spoon is just a spoon with Gimme Love engraved on it. It is official Joji merchandise, so people just started calling it Joji Spoon. This joke was tweeted by the Cold Ones account saying that Joji Spoon will be appearing as a guest on their next video. Cool Shirt Scott can actually speak Mandarin. I'm not sure what level he can speak it at, but Max and Chad are always doing in China jokes. I'm turning mine on. <laughs> Maybe just poking fun at Scott or making him translate stuff. <laughs> oh, that's a <her> Chinese shit. <laughs> Often referred to as Lil Fella, he made his first appearance in their As Seen on TV Cooking Products video. In one of the instruction manuals they read had a small egg character that Max for some reason obsessed over. 
there's a little fella on this. Shut the fish! Check this out. It's like a little egg with glasses on it they put on there. Eventually making merch of little fella, lots of memes spawned from this with some fans even getting tattoos. How many people have gotten a tattooed on them? Okay, it's at least 14. Hey, if you get an egg fella tattoo, tweet it at us. You will be retweeted. This shit bussin' just means something is really good. People started saying it to anything they want. As far as this entry goes, I think Max and Chad just say it a lot. Oh, fuck me. A shit bussin'. A shit bussin'. Gordon Ramsay. Bussin', Chad. This shit bussin'. So people have made documents of every time these guys appear in a video together. Their last video was over six years ago, but this was a time before the adpocalypse where people could get away with much edgier content. Many people have made in-depth videos on this topic if you are interested in knowing why they split up or don't hang out anymore. I'll just let Max explain this one himself. And the reason why is because how to basic he saw it one night and he asked me, have you seen Chef? I was like, I haven't seen it. Why is it good? So he kept asking and I was like, no, I haven't seen it. And then George, George came over and was like, have you seen Chef? He's like, no, I haven't seen it. He went to the store to pick up stuff to put in the video. And he came back <laughs> with a copy of Chef. We, I think in the video, we taped it to the wall or something like that because it became such an in joke. And then that's when it like really started. And then so we all started putting copies of chef in the background of our videos so basically it's just an inside joke that made it into a video then everyone started saying it which kind of ruined their inside joke well every friend group comes up with like in jokes Ooh. and things like that mm. but when you have a platform your in jokes become weird fucking memes if you say them too much which is what you especially if you bring them to your video chinese ninja originates from one of their cameo videos where they ask a bunch of celebrities to read a variation of a famous ninja tweet. I'm in the middle of carrying a League of Legends game, about to close it out, and my brawler's wife brings me a sandwich, not asked for, with chips as I get a double kill bot lane. So how's your day going? There have been lots of variations on this tweet, though I don't know why Max thought of saying Chinese ninja. You are good at Fortnite and your wife is braless. Do you know the ninja meme of the tweet? <laughs> yeah, Chad, I fucking typed it out, cocksucker. For ninja and his brother's wife. <laughs> Korean ninja is also used later in the same video. No, but not me. That shit fucking not bussin'. That shit anti-bussin'. If you won't add me, then at least add Korean ninja. So Cucumber Joe is just a bootleg pickle Rick. They wanted to make a knockoff version they can put on a t-shirt and sell. It ended up being very popular among fans. And this shirt can actually still be bought on their website for $38. Sample text is that old meme format where it's just a picture with text on the bottom and top of the image. Variants of this meme are top text and bottom text. Okay, we've got a sign that says your text here, another side that says... <laughs> <laughs> that looks front. good. Lil Hot Dog is a rapper they made up for a video. He was made to sing a rap where they endlessly introduce himself and hypes up the song, but it abruptly stops. Pretend like the song is starting, but it never stops starting. Introduce yourself as a rapper, but you keep listing your other rap names for the entire length of the track, and you never get to actually rap on it. This possibly comes from Max always having a tendency to ask for hot dogs. Spaghetti! Hot dog! Hot dog! Milk is a commonly recurring joke on Cold Ones. It has people confused to the point of where they're asking on the Cold Ones Reddit for the meaning behind the joke. Starting from Max's old milk challenges, where he'd continuously drink milk until he threw up all over himself, to all of the new variations it has turned into. Some examples being a uh, milk applier, he needed milk, uh, milk goat ham. I'm about to milk a goat and make some goat cheese. <laughs> Okay, we should have got at least 50 other cameos from this guy. This stems from us being told that milk gives you strong bones, and with Markiplier looking pretty strong, it's joking that he must be drinking a lot of milk. So parts of their body are often seen to warp for comedic effect. Sometimes this is subtly done, but also sometimes they do big edits as well. The editing done on this podcast is really, really good, and I can only imagine very, very time consuming, so good job. Chad, man, what are you doing? Getting new locks for the door. I left the other office unlocked, and we were robbed. And I'm really sad. 
They ended up being caught with these guys saying, We caught the people that did it. Their place was raided and we got one out of three computers back. Our TV, which was too smashed to use anywhere. Our switch and some pieces of camera gear and other bits. Kind of a happy end, but still would not recommend getting robbed. They were actually robbed again just fairly recently. Stealing around 30k in cameras and filming equipment. Mr. Breast is a meme from one of their Fiverr episodes, where they got a picture of Mr. Beast to have big breasts, hence the name. Right. One of the drawings has full tits, like nipples and everything. Yeah, yeah, I can see where the, <laughs> where the nipples are meant yeah. to be. Get some exposed Mr. Beast back, nipples on Patreon.com. It's brought up a bunch of other times, though I'm not sure the origin of the joke. It could just be that beast and breast sound kind of similar. Disney child actor Stephen Lawrence once played a character named Beans on the show Even Stevens. So in a cameo episode, Max and Chad got Stephen, or Beans, to do this. Beans eating beans. Beans eating beans. I guess the point of this entry is that Stephen and Chad have fairly similar facial features. If I get a photo of me as a child and then get a photo of him as a child and put them side to side, they look exactly the same. I think a photo of you as a child and him as an adult look the same. You fell off just means something that used to be popular but has lost its relevancy. Possibly referring to all of Max's other channels with millions of subscribers that he never uploads on anymore. And that includes his recently abandoned Pokemon channel. The only thing he's had to say about it is this. I feel I'm like, I have all these old videos, I filmed at least five or something like that. And yeah. I, I go to edit them or I'm like, you know. Yeah. It's been two years. I need to do something way better than this. Yeah, exactly. But they're coming. I keep saying that. Good shit. One day. I'm one very day. excited about one day, that. One day, one day. Minerals is just a scene from Breaking Bad where Hank Schrader screams at his wife about his rock collection. It became a popular meme online for a while, so I don't know why this is so far down the list. They just mention it a lot. Hey, Marie, where the fuck my minerals at, bitch? Hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, Max and Chad. Hey, bud. Marie. Hey, bring me my minerals. I want to study them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Marie, they're not rocks, they're minerals. Crack pipes were ordered in an episode as a joke. They came with a bunch of resin rock incense, which they decided to crush up and smoke. They had no idea what the rocks actually were because it had been so long since they ordered them. I don't know, rocks? We should try to smoke this. Chad, please smoke some of these crack No, I'm rocks. not smoking the crack rocks. And they still decided to smoke them anyway. It, it like powderizes. You should- Chad's smoking crack. Chad's smoking crack. No, what are you doing? Oh, that tastes like plastic. Mm. Why would you inhale that? You don't know what this is. Kind of tastes like candy. Also, Chinese herbs, which we will get to later. Crohn's is a type of inflammatory bowel disease. Basically, your digestive tract gets infected and can be extremely painful. Mr. Beast has said before that he has Crohn's. Is there any medication that you can take that improves it? Yeah, so I'm on what's called Remicade, and so every eight weeks they just do an IV with a huge bag, which essentially suppresses my immune system. So that's why I get sick very easily, because <laughs> the answer to my immune system attacking itself is just to fucking nuke my immune system. Oh, Jesus Christ. I know, so it's a little annoying. It's unfortunate, I'm stuck with it. What can you do? So Max and Chad have poked fun at this before by saying he has Crohn's, Jimmy Beast has Crohn's, and similar variations. Yeah. Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast? Yeah. What does it mean? He has Crohn's disease. Crohn? Oh no, <laughs> I don't get it. Mr. Beast has Crohn's disease. Have we told you guys about that yet? One of the delivery guys that sat and ate with Max and Chad took a photo for his Instagram, but after searching for it, it seems to have been deleted. He now seems to just do music video editing, and he does have a Fiverr page. Pokemon for Views is a YouTube channel owned by Chad. He was last active on that channel about a year ago and only posted 12 videos before seemingly abandoning it. He currently has around 40k subscribers at the time of recording this. It states on the YouTube wiki that Max has mentioned he has autism. 
I've searched literally everywhere and I could not find any mention of this other than on the wiki. Although Max may not be autistic, Chad has stated many times that he most likely has some sort of mental disease, causing him to not be able to filter a lot of the things he says, which has led him to be in a lot of controversies over the stuff he said before. This even got him banned from Twitch. I won't go into exactly the context of that clip, but it was a bad joke. And I was like, sure. in my head, it sounded funny. And then I said it and I was like, that was not funny. It <laughs> sucked. Yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, in the midst of their Grogged Games playlist, there's an out of place video with the title, Oh Yeah Mr. Krabs, with people in the comments asking, Why is this on a Cold Ones playlist? And, Anyone else find this in the Cold Ones Grogged Games playlist? <laughs> On March 22nd, 2015, Markiplier uploaded a video of himself in a hospital for a bowel obstruction. 4 a.m. right now. I'm hooked up to a lot of scary looking machines, but I don't want you guys to worry. It's common courtesy to send flowers and gifts as like some kind of nice gesture to someone in hospital. So that's exactly what Max and Chad did. Like sick in hospital? Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. That is so good. Look at this fucking cork coming out of his nose. <laughs> Except it was a couple of years too late. Heard you're in hospital, mate. Got this commissioned. Get well soon, though. It could be insensitive, but it's a good thing that Mark thought it was funny and replied to their tweet. Lush Sucks is an anonymous graffiti artist based in Melbourne. He's known for his meme graffiti and beef with the rapper 50 Cent, where he painted various celebrities with 50 Cent's face. Some examples being Mike Tyson's 50 Cent, Mike Pence 50 Pence, and Taylor Swift's Swifty Cent. He was attacked in the middle of painting one of these 50 Cent pieces, though 50 Cent claims he had nothing to do with it. I'm guessing for his meme work, he's got on Max and Chad's radar. Eventually, ended up doing a video together where Lush Sucks taught them how to do graffiti art. Max. Uh, Marge wants to divorce. <laughs> uh, it's Marge. I'm the hit animated sitcom, The Simpsons. YouTuber Bambino Becky made a tweet promoting her new podcast, Strong Ones. Excuse me, what the fuck is this? Though it seems at first glance, she just completely ripped off the whole idea. Even the fluoro light intro was similar. But she claims she had absolutely no idea about Cold Ones before making it. Honestly, I'd been watching Hot Ones for a while. Saw that they go up in strength of how hot mm -hmm. the chicken is. And you thought the same. I thought, mm -hmm. easily done with shots, percentage-wise. Yeah. Not even like taking the piss. It's nothing like Cold Ones. Mm. Nothing. It's the nothing only like thing that involves as a neon sign and alcohol. She mentions Cold Ones just ripped off the Hot Ones podcast. I don't, I don't know. If anyone's gonna be angry, it needs to be Hot Ones, is all I'm saying. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you can't copyright something that you've copied already. But fans were quick to point out holes in that statement. Bro, how can they say Cold Ones ripped off Hot Ones when the only thing they share is a fucking logo design? Don't forget, Sean Evans himself gave the go ahead for Cold Ones and even appeared on it. Her argument is completely invalid. Uh, what is this AIDS? Becky, eat shit. There are millions of comments on your first one about us. I'm so upset. There's a bird on my head is a popular children's book by Mo Williams. It's just about things being on an elephant's head. I have no idea if it's related to this book or if Max was just saying whatever the hell he wanted. But in one episode, he keeps making Too Mad put a bird on his head. He's got a bird on his head. I can't get it on my head. There's a bird on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I press, I put a bird on my head. There's a bird on his head ended up being a popular meme on the Cold Ones subreddit. So in the crack pipe video we covered earlier, Chad ordered a bunch of herbs. Oh no, it's some Chinese herbs. <laughs> they had no idea what it was at the time and they smoked it as a joke. Okay, Chad's getting lit as fuck. <laughs> it turns out it is actually not so safe, but the TLDR is basically this. 
So, in other words, they smoked antidepressants and dollar store meth. It's also worth noting that Hong Kong had arrested four people for trafficking this stuff, so nice one, Chad. I couldn't find anything on a cancelled Joji episode, though I did make a whole video answering the question if Joji would ever come on Cold Ones, so check that out if you want to know more. Though it's also worth noting that Joji will be touring Australia this year, so even if he doesn't come on Cold Ones, we can at least hope that maybe they'll hang out off camera or something like that. Maxmofo Collection was one of Max's many YouTube channels. Holy shit, why do you need another channel? You've barely run even two of the four. To which, for the 19th time, I say, oh, I'm getting it on track, it's coming. Max didn't stick to his upload schedule, so just like all the rest, this channel was left to rot. So what's this got to do with Cold Ones? Well, Max Mofo Collection is actually the Cold Ones Clips channel. How do we know? Well, we can see this channel was made all the way back in 2014, way before the first episode of Cold Ones. This must have just been more convenient than making a new channel entirely, since Max had this completely abandoned channel ready. All they'd have to do is change the profile picture and name. A playlist of all of Max's videos he made for this channel will be in the description if you want to check it out. A beer glass has been seen with the Cold Ones logo on it. Fans have been wondering why they aren't selling them. My best guess is that shipping these comes with a risk of breaking, and they probably don't want to deal with customer complaints. It could also be that maybe we're seeing an early glimpse of some merch. This entry refers to the fact that all podcast platforms seem to be completely abandoned. Spotify, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, all of them have been completely forgotten about since the Belle Delphine episode, two years ago. Maybe they didn't have enough listeners to warrant the effort, but my personal opinion is that because visual comedy also makes up a great portion of Cold Ones, they probably want people coming to YouTube for the full experience. I took the liberty of purchasing you some African kids. <laughs> ah! I sponsored these children in your name. This is Bruno and Bona. <laughs> I think it's pronounced like Bonaire. I sponsored them for $1,100 in Chad's name, and this is the photo that they got of Chad. <laughs> oh, guess where they live? Where? Chad. Really? Yeah, they live in chat. That's awesome! <laughs> I actually really appreciate that, Max. Thank you. Yeah, let's get them on the show. There will be a follow-up to that. To, what were they? Bonnier Br and... Bruno and bon Bonnet. We never got a follow-up. They didn't come on the podcast. And that concludes the Cold Ones Iceberg. Links mentioned will be left in the description. Also, check out the original iceberg on the Cold Ones Reddit. I replaced some entries with my own. I thought it would make it more interesting. Similar videos like this are sure to come, so make sure you stick around and subscribe. Thanks, bye.